Hey everyone, this is Joy Boy P here again with another unboxing and review video. This time on the Gigabyte wireless card, the GCWB300D. This is one of the higher end um, wireless cards. It is um, highly compatible with most wireless interfaces. It, inc it does include uh, compatibility with dual band wireless, you know, 2.4 megahertz and 5 giga um, megahertz or is it gigahertz, whatever. Um, as you can see here, it can operate up to speeds of um, 300 megabits. Um, we did um, install this and use this in this system. Uh, oh, sorry, I did forget to include Blue, um, Bluetooth compatible as well. Now, this does belong to Rifire, and um, we did install this in this system, and it did cause some problems for us, which I'll go into in a minute. Now, let's just open the box quickly. Uh, as I said, we have used this before now, so it's not inside its original anti-static bag. I'm going to pull this out. It does fit into you on your PCI Express slots. It is uh, just PCI Express um, X1. This bit is a, um, a USB 2 internal header, which I'm not sure why you need that. Also in the box you do get a driver disc. Do not use this, this is what caused our problems. And you need to have the multilingual um, user manual, including Japanese and Chinese by the look of it. Uh, as I was saying, the when we installed it, everything worked fine. We ins um, installed the drivers and then the system wanted to do a restart, we restarted the system and that's where the problem happened, we kept blue screening. So the drivers were incompatible on this disk, were incompatible with Windows 8.1. So it's fine for Windows 8, but not 8.1 on that. Um, we kept blue screening, it eventually sorted itself out, but because of Rifi being impatient with the load, with, um, it looking like it was freezing, he kept resetting his computer, causing a fault to develop in his motherboard. This fault, um, when you turn the motherboard on, um, let's get this, um, as I'm talking, this fault as you turn the motherboard on, um, it worked um, fine once we got, um, fixed the issue, which somewhat fixed itself. Um, when you turn it on it worked fine, you turn off the motherboard and suddenly it um, you can't turn it back on unless you switch it off at the mains or on by the power supply and wait for all the lights to turn off. So black PCBs you can see there. So yeah, it caused this minor fault um, because of his impatience and currently his computer is in pieces while we upgrade it to Custom water cooled one. Just remove that for a minute if I can. I'll just put this down quick. Yeah, that goes into the card itself, that end goes into the spare USB header. Now, let's talk about its performance rather than ranting about what problems it caused but that was our fault go to the gigabyte website to download the latest drivers which we did and fix the issue um, we got the motherboard replaced which was the ASUS ROG cross, um, Crosshair V for Formula Z which is a AMD one um, uh, its performance is really um, is really good um, the action um, his Wireless, um, his wired upload speed was only 5 megabits per second, and this boosted it to around 10 megabits per second. Um, his wi wired speed was um, just over 100 megabits download, which came down, but th um, we, sorry, um, it was just over 100 megabits per second. Um, we then um, moved his computer upstairs and then installed this, and his. Um, wireless download speeds was about um, 75 megabits per second so it's not exactly a huge performance hit and when you, when you move it that far away from the wireless hub you expect to um, 
run into a few issues anyway. Uh, some of the uh, apps that come with it aren't compatible with Windows 8.1, such as this cloud storage thing that's on about there. Uh, let you read it, just pause it as usual. So overall, yes, this is a very good card. I do want to compare this to the one on um, that is on my Gigabyte motherboard. Um, because apparently the one on the Gigabyte motherboard is ex exactly the same. It has the same little module on it here. But um, that one's advertised to have a wireless speed of up to 867 megabits per second. So I'm not entirely sure why it being built into the motherboard makes it so much faster. So that's just about it on this unboxing and review. To save yourself a load of hassle, do not use this driver disc. This bit, um, if you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Please let, leave any comments in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel for more unboxing and review videos in the future. Uh, this has been Joy4P, signing out. <laughs>